So how hot is too hot? We may have the answer for you here in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe to get the latest information. Well, it was so hot. How hot was it? Well, it was so hot that the chickens were laying fried eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, folks, scientists have long believed the human body loses its capacity to properly regulate body temperature at around 95 degrees at 100% humidity or at 115 degrees at 50% of humidity. Now, scientists from Penn State find the maximum temperatures humans can handle may be lower than previously thought. I'll tell you right now that 100 degrees and dry in Texas is way easier to handle than 87 and humid in Illinois. Anywho, so here's what happens when the body can't regulate its own temperature adequately. Really not too much other than heat stroke and death depending on the temperature. <laughs> so it's kind of important. This latest research finds the real max temperature humans can handle is closer to 87 degrees at 100% humidity. That's that whole Illinois thing. This held true for even the young, healthy individuals, suggesting the maximum bearable temperature for older, more vulnerable people is likely even lower. Scientists used one particular temperature called wet bulb temperature. This represents a humid temperature when the air holds as much moisture as possible. Scientists stress that this form of measuring heat risk is only really useful for humid climates. In drier climates, sweat evaporates from the skin and cools the body down. See, I was right about the whole dry Texas thing. <laughs> 24 people ages 18 to 34 took part in this study where they swallowed a tiny radio telemetry device. Ooh, yummy. Throughout the experiment, the device measured a person's core temperature. <laughs> I'm not even going to say what I'm thinking. After that, each person entered a specialized environmental chamber with adjustable temperature and humidity settings. While subjects performed some light physical exercise, the chamber either gradually increased in temperature or humidity until the person could no longer maintain their core body temperature. Well, that sounds fun. The process led to the conclusion that critical wet bulb temperatures ranged from 77 degrees to 82 degrees Fahrenheit in hot, dry environments, and from 86 to 89 degrees Fahrenheit in warm, humid environments. So these tiny telemetry devices they swallowed, uh, do you think they're like the Voyager spacecraft right now, still sending out data? <laughs> I hate to be the guy at TSA when they scan that thing and say, okay, we're going to have to do a real thorough search on you, sir. However, the team cautions that no two bodies are exactly the same and that every human may adapt to heat differently depending on humidity levels. <laughs> okay, so there's really not likely a way to get an answer, but thanks for the study grant money. Seriously, their conclusion is that the temperatures are significantly lower than what they thought they would be. So it was all worth it. There's much more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.